Hey everyone, it's me. Um, today we're going to be doing a haul. So the first will be like home decoration and books. And then the next will be all the clothes that I've gotten. Happy New Year! We're entering the year of the dragon. So let's get into it. So let's do books first. Um, the first one I got is this one from Amazon, Romantic Princess Style by Makoto Takahashi. Um, and I'll show you some flip through. Very cute, princessy, like an art book. Because when I was a kid, I loved to look through art books and I'm just thinking of the future. So when I have children, they'll have a lot of visual stimulation. Next is one of my new prized possessions, Lunarium by Ramya Rio. Um, I'll show you another flip through. Just a sneak peek. And I'll show you my favorite as well. So the Raspberry Girl love her this is one of my prized possessions here's the back but on the other hand i got some of ramia rio's husband's work which if you don't know uh they were a pervert couple uh so i won't show you the inside because it is inappropriate but i got this one and this one as well. These are also my prized possessions. Can't find these barely anywhere. I will not show you the inside. All right, on to accessories and home decor. So the first thing I got for my birthday, which is December 5th, is this Under the Sea Castle. It has seashells and starfish, but in this part, you put a candle and it lights up. So it's pretty cool. Next, I got these two hangers. Purple frilly. The bow is on this side. And then pink frilly. I'm gonna like hang these up with a really cool piece that I don't really wear all that often like on the wall so then it becomes a piece of decor instead of just something that hangs in my closet. Next is my brand new caboodle to add to the collection. It's purple and pink. Um, it's way smaller than my normal caboodles. And I'll do videos going through what my caboodles are as well, since I do collect them. So this yellow and orange one is accessories, pink and black makeup. Uh, this one I think is empty. Pink and uh, turquoise is stationery and stickers. My DS lives in the black and white one, and then just random stuff are in these ones. But I'll go through them with you guys as well eventually okay on to more accessory type of things i got this tiny pink silk purse it's very like dainty i can fit my phone in here but um i can't fit a lot of stuff but it's just like for a night out um it's also silver Details, you know, not details, uh, hardware, I guess. Next, I got these tights, which I didn't try them on because there's this sticker on it. I've been trying to get it off. If you know any hacks to get this off, let me know in the comments. Alright, more accessories got these glasses that go with this sweater um I feel like a super villain when I wear both of these together um I posted a picture like this on my Instagram 
which is also Illuminani. If you want to follow, I got a hanky little handkerchief that has this cute like corner. It's like frilly, um, two of my favorite colors as well. Just looks really cute, like hanging out, you know. I have a couple handkerchiefs as well. I got this necklace from Everyday People in St. Paul. Um, I have trouble putting it on, but really I have trouble taking it off because it is a choker. And it's not like a loose choker, it's like, it's a very tight choker. But I'll try to get it on for you or I'll just hold it. So this is what it looks like. It's like really dainty and cute. Next I have two necklaces that I made, which I also posted one of them on my Instagram. So I have this one, and these are belly button piercings. Um, very hard Juku inspired. I've been meaning to do more jewelry with belly button piercings. Um, yeah, so there's all different colors. One of my favorite things, and this lives on my lampshade now, my necklace lampshade. And then this one I made yesterday, I wanted to incorporate lace. It was actually my mom's idea, because she's an artistic genius. So you can wear it two ways. You can put this over your head and um, tie it in the back, or you can have the lace hanging and tying it in the back. So it's like a choker and a looser part. So those are my two necklaces I made. And I'll be making more that um, will match the vibe. So y'all can buy them at my art show, which is my New Year's resolution. I hope to have an art show and a pop-up with some clothes I'm getting rid of, just incorporating them together. Next is a whole separate uh, category, which is fragrance. I got the... Tainted Love uh, by Tokyo Milk, which is Margot Elena's uh, brand. And this smells so good. It has dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. <sighs> so good. It smells so good and like fresh but sweet. Um, it's definitely one of my new favorites. I love Marga Elena's Tokyo Milk brand. My favorite from my signature scent in middle school was Song in D minor, which I found at a garage sale. So when I found like her website, like at the beginning of high school, I bought a lot of her fragrances. And right now I have three, if you can see up here in this little shelf, I got the Song in D minor. And then I also have Kabuki, which is a really deep vanilla. Um, all right, enough about fragrance, because I can go all day long. Uh, we're gonna get into my clothes that I bought this, since my last haul, I've been saving them, so, wait, no, not, not done with home decor, I got blankets, so I got this crocheted one, um, it's like relatively neutrals, like pastel, but I wanted that vibe for, because it's always good to have different vibes in crochet. And then I got this dark blue one. I love it. So cute. I love just all sorts of color. Okay, now it's closed. So I got this sweater. It's like a fuchsia, like neon fuchsia. One of my favorites. It's so soft and... um has these cutout details, so I do have to wear something under it, but I love the color. Very loud. It's darling. All right. Next, I'm just going to go randomly from this pile um, because I didn't sort it out or anything. So the first one I got is this. Uh, I got a bulk like selection of slip dresses from eBay. And, um... I forget who I bought them from, but 
there's this pink one and it's just like a lacy pink slip relatively basic except it is stained up but I'm thinking I could cut it in the places that I you know like the skirt off maybe I'll just cut the stains out and then sew it back next I got this crazy neon coral jumpsuit from everyday people it's like super frilly in the front oh it's so cool and then I got it got these frilly legs as well if I ever get invited to a slumber party this is what I'm wearing because I will wear it out anyways but it would be so cute for like jammies you know because that's what it's meant for but I want to wear it out because it's too cool to just wear to bed next I got these bloomers um they're just white bloomers I got these from gosh somewhere in uptown um right next to smitten kitten super cute for layering I wear these with tights um yeah so bloomers next I have another slip from that same uh, haul like the bulk selection it's white this one doesn't have any stains on it but um it is a little big I do like the the boob part is covered and lace on the bottom next I got just a plain white button-up which is kind of tight I was going for like the bayonetta look like the sexy office worker but um I got this from sisterhood it's Liz Claiborne and it has like the lines on the back Next, this one I got from my thrift store, I think in Roseville, Minnesota. And it's just a cute blue, like, baby doll slip dress. It's going to be great for spring. And my thrift store is great. Psst, giving you my secrets. Because all the baddies don't know about it yet. So my next one I got from there, make sure it's right side, right side out. So I got this other blue one. There's a couple of blue ones, but I left them there. One was super beaded. It was really pretty, but it was the same color as this one. So I got this one. It has a bow detail with the tiny blue rose. Uh, the boob part is see-through, so I have to wear, like, a turtleneck under it or something. But it is so flowy, and it has lace on the bottom as well. This one is one of my favorites that I got. Next, I got this dress from Sisterhood Boutique as well. Um, let me zip it up, because I did do a try-on, like, people have been asking in my comments. Sorry if it's not perfect, because I'm not so experienced um editing youtube videos yet but i'm working on it so i got this dress it's inspiring to me like sang jia would wear it from singles inferno you know going for that like very soft feminine femme fatale look so cute i did take the buttons off it had these buttons down the front like six down here so there's like marks from that. They were kind of like um, rusting. So there's like tiny little green spots. But I'll figure something out because this is so cute and it fits perfectly. I'm surprised I didn't like get it sooner because I've been looking at it for a while. Next is I wore this leotard to my friend's art show. It is so darling. It is so cool. Like, it buttons down here. And I was just going to wear it with tights, you know, um, with just the button. But then I put a skirt on over it. So, I'll put the video clip. I think it's in my shorts as well. So, my short videos on YouTube. 
there's a video of me with this. And I also wore it with my belly button ring necklace. I was the baddest bitch in that party. All right. Next is another slip from that eBay haul. This one is just super plain. Um, well, it's inside out. All right. So it's just super plain. Um, it has like this weird embroider detail. Like scalloped embroidered. This would be so cool for like customizing with the heat press. Uh, but I don't have one of those. So I'll just have to wait. Next from Everyday People. I got this velvet um, maroon top like super 90s um gives me ginger snaps vibes that movie uh, what is the brand it's called impressions it has like this cute neckline as well oh um, we're almost done here so thanks for sticking Okay, I got this one as well. This was the one I bought the whole haul for. It's just like this really pretty watermelon colored slip dress. And it has these like uh, embroidered details on the chest and on the bottom. Next, I got this from Everyday Peoples as well. It is a robe or a chemise. Not sure how to say that word, but that's how I've been pronouncing it. It has lace details. This also gives me like ginger snaps or like a vampire from a 90s movie. It has a tie. It's really long. So it like dusts the floor when I walk like a queen. Next I got this. I wore this for Christmas because it's like a Christmas ornament. Um... I got it for free actually because the lady put it on her waist uh, band like she hung the hanger on her jeans and then forgot to ring it up and then she's like oh here I'll just throw it in your bag but it's this Ann Taylor white sweater and it has these pearls so it looks like a Christmas ornament for real super soft too it's one of my favorites next I got this from Goodwill like a really long time ago but it's just one of the prettiest slips ever my new favorite out of this whole haul so it has like this what is it lace it's lace it looks like rhinestones but it's like just a shiny lace floral detail and then the bottom is just no detail it's like flowy this is gonna be so cute in the summer um I got this fine girl tracksuit. So it says fine girl on the boob area. It has a hood. And I got the pants. So it's a set. Um, the pants are tall girl friendly. So I got a medium and it's like relatively long for my feet. I'm 5'7 going on to 5'8 like so I'm like pretty tall considering how pants don't really fit me like at normal stores. But fine girl, tall girl, friendly. And they're also size inclusive. Shout out to fine girl. Go buy their stuff. It's mostly sold out all the time because they are so good. But they have really good sales. Also with this, the color looks more orangish in the pictures. It is more like a pinkish, which I would prefer it to be more like orangish because when I wore these out together, people was asking me like, are you a blood? Are you a blood? No, I am not gang affiliated. Free take aid though. And last but not least, one of my favorite pieces ever. I found this on Amazon. I don't buy fa fast fashion like pretty much. I buy it once a year and that is towards the end of the year 
and it's stuff that I've been looking at for like six months. So this is one of them. It's this lilac cami and it has these lace details and the freaking bodice. It's like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like this detail. So cute. And then it has this purple bow. This also, like, the color on the internet was different from what I was expecting, but, um, it's still really cute. Like, this is more purple than the picture, but I was looking for something like lilac purple, because purple and, like, like, this color on a rainy day, it's just such a vibe. I love it so much. If you... Look at my Pinterest, you'll see like the vibe I'm going for. Um, super cute. And then also I took the picture with my necklace as well. They go together. Goes with the freaking everything. So cute. Also, if you want to make this yourself without buying, I just took apart a necklace that had this really like kind of tiny chain that would fit and it wouldn't fall off. Because some chains, they'll just slide right through. And then I got these bulk um, on Amazon for, I think, $15. Got 200 of them. So, I'm going to be making a lot of art. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'm going to try to be more, like, with. YouTube, I guess that w I would say, not like, more committed to posting videos, I mean, because I really do like doing YouTube, and I want y'all to see how cool I am, duh, just kidding, just kidding, <laughs> um, anyways, thanks for watching, my next video will be going through more of my caboodles, like, um, putting my stuff away and stuff like that, so, thank you!